welcome back to my youtube channel and happy 2024 we're back in business with the youtube y'all i made it a resolution and i promised you guys that i would be back on youtube for 2024 so here i am here i motherfucking am and i'm excited so what number one i think i need a new camera because this camera is just not the best for youtube it's more so better for my ig gram pics if you know what i mean you know what i mean canon g7x Plays every single time but so happy to be here I'm so excited we're back on YouTube and one of my resolutions like I said this year is going to be to be consistent on here just to give you guys the best content as possible because I love you and I appreciate you guys so much so I figured what better way to come back to YouTube than to do our best of skincare in 2024 I mean I picked sorry 2023 i picked so many amazing products and from every single category that you can think of so we're gonna get into it one by one i'm gonna tell you why i love it etc let's go Ooh. to preface i think my skin has looked has never looked better than it does now i just feel like i've done so much research on skincare products lately over the past year, I've tried so many things. I've reviewed so many things for you guys. And it's finally time where I have just my staples. Like, I can't imagine going without these this year. And I can't even imagine the products that I'm going to try this year that are going to be included in here. I'm just going to have nowhere to keep my skincare at all. <laughs> Let's start with cleansing. You guys know Double Cleansing has my heart. I think it's one of the most beneficial tips that you can learn beneficial methods in skincare is double cleansing you're gonna go in first with an oil cleanser and you're gonna go in second with a regular cleanser foaming whatever you want gel whatever these are my favorites these are from Anua this is the pore control cleansing oil this is what you're gonna go in with first and you're gonna you're gonna want to do it on sorry I'm stuttering you're gonna want to do it on dry skin and this is gonna really just release all the debris inside your pores like even for me like you can i barely have any pores on my nose and in my t-zone here because of this freaking cleanser it's so good it's amazing so honestly when you're double cleansing you can even feel the pimples and blackheads and stuff <laughs> i'm gonna censor myself and the stuff that comes out of your pores on your hands when you're looking at it. I've done a video about this before. It's on my TikTok. It's pretty cool. So after you're done with this cleanser, you're going to wash your face with water. And then you're going to go in with a foaming cleanser. Again, you don't have to use these, but these are my favorite. They're really, really good. I love them. I have very deep pores and very oily skin around my T-zone specifically. So this has been such a staple for me. This is also from Anua. This is the Pore Deep Cleansing Foam. These one best of cleansing category for me. I cannot live without these now. I love it. So good. Now let's get into this next thing that I really got into this year. And it's toners. If you know, you know I love toners. I love the 7 toner method. It is a Korean skincare method. And honestly, absolutely changed my skin as well. Whenever I post videos about this, people are always like, Why do you need 7 toners? Me, 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 me. Okay, you don't don't need seven toners but in the korean skincare world the k-beauty world it is a method that they layer seven toners on top of each other and it creates this unbelievable glass skin effect on your face but that's because it's creating so much hydration from the layers of the toners that go on your face as well as just helping the skin barrier kind of suck that all in and just stay in a really healthy state and that's what's going to give you glass skin along with obviously what's going on internally with you so let's start with the toner pads because i really do love these as well this is what i use in the morning this is from mediheal is it focusing is it focusing no it's not no i don't want it there we go <laughs> There we go. This is the Mediheal Brightening Pad. These are amazing. The brand Mediheal is also Korean. It is a very, very, very beautiful brand. They have a bunch of other kinds. They have enzyme, they have retinol, but it's these, oh, my spatula fell. <laughs> it's these little pads and it comes with this little spatula and you go in 
and it basically is a sheet mask in little squares. So I do this every single morning after I double cleanse. I kind of just let it sit there while I do whatever I need to do. And these are awesome. I really like them. Another toner pad. This one is also from Anua. This is the Anua Heartleaf 77 Clear Pad. I used this one at night. Again, it this one's a circle, not a square. But this one has a little texture on the pad, which is nice. And I just apply it all over my skin. This is a great way to get some form of exfoliation in your skincare at night but not too harsh. This does not irritate my skin. Typically with exfoliators, it makes my skin really dry and this one does not at all. Actually, leaves my skin glowing after. Now getting into actual liquid toners. I picked four. four. Ah! I picked four of them because these ones are my favorites, so let's go through it. Number one, as you can tell, I like the brand Anua. This is a Heartleaf Soothing Toner. This is the most calming amazing toner that I've ever tried. It's my first toner right after, I'm not, I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at myself in the face. <laughs> this toner is amazing for hydration, for soothing the skin, redness, etc. I do wish it was a little more hydrating because it's a very thin consistency. So that's the point of the seven layers, one. And two, this one is a great beginner's toner. It's the first toner that I use right after I cleanse my face. It's amazing. Second favorite toner is from Aquel. These two toners I've been using for the entire year. So this is like my third bottle of this one. This is my second of this one. This is a licorice root toner. It is gonna balance the pH in your skin, which is amazing. So this one is kind of more of a detox toner, yet it's not gonna dry your skin at all. This is my second toner I go in with. So if a new one first, and this is the second. I really love this toner. You can get all of these toners off Amazon. A lot of people are like, oh, it's fake. As long as it's the brand's actual website, uh, sorry, the brand's actual store on their Amazon, it's not gonna be a fake product. So don't be afraid to buy it off of Amazon. But if you still are skeptical, you can get it on Yes Style. It's Y-E-S-S-T-Y-L-E. -S my third favorite toner is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Toner. This is a new one for me. I started using this one December of last year and it became on my best of 23 skincare list. This is the most beautiful hydrating toner I've ever used. The smell is divine. It smells like you're in a spa, but it is made out of black rice, which rice is amazing for your skin. This is more of a thicker consistency, so I like to use this after I use like my more watery, toners next toner on the list is my road milky essence glazing fluid or glazing milk this is a beautiful toner Haley outdid herself with this formula it is doesn't smell very good but it's filled with ceramides it's filled with yummy ingredients that are just gonna just bring hydration and soothing aspects to the skin it is stunning I use this as my last toner for my serums every single day as it is a milky consistency and if it is a milky consistency which means it's thicker so this is what you want to use for your last toner or else if you use this first the other toners won't properly penetrate into your skin this is also a toner slash spray i also use this as a toner sometimes i'll spray this on my face right before i start my toners just to add some more hydration because hydration causes the products to penetrate deeper into the skin you guys have seen this on my page this is the dalba first serum spray it is made with truffle this stuff will give you glass skin i'm just going to show you while we're here it is the most gorgeous spray serum i've ever seen in my life let it dry come my handy ditty fan <laughs> I'm gonna show you here. It gives you the most stunning glass skin ever. This is the most hydrating serum spray I've ever tried. I love this. This is my second spray bottle of this and I went through it fast. I just could not stop dousing my face in it. Quickly, quickly made the best of 2023 list in my opinion. Another spray serum is such a goodie. This is the Tower 28 SOS spray. I've loved this for so long now. When it comes to sprays, I will spray my face right after I cleanse before my toner. So if you ever see me using sprays, that's when I'll use it. It just, I just think it aids better in my toner process. This spray will save your skin from breakouts, redness, dryness it is so stunning this formula and i am so 
confused on how they got this to work so well. It's a hydrochloric formula. If you ever heard of the hydrochloric sprays, it really does help with fungal acne as well, which is great. And just save our skin. It saves your skin, that's for sure. Now getting into my serums, honestly, I have focused more on toners than serums this year, and they're on this list. They're really good. The first one on the list is one that you guys know I have loved for a long time. This is the Advanced Cosrx Snail Mucin. It is so perfect. This alone will give you glass skin, but after doing some research, I've noticed that the people that break out from this or the people that get reactions from this are allergic to dust mites, which is the weirdest collation or however you say the word I've ever heard of. That's such a strange thing, but yeah. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing skincare product, but beware if you are allergic to dust mites, this will break you out. <laughs> it's a very thick and slimy formula, but it will give you the most hydration you've ever felt in your skin. And this is actually an essence, not a serum. So you're gonna wanna use this before any serums after your toners on damp skin. Two favorite serums. These guys take the cake for me. This is my vitamin C that I use. This is a Silymarin CF. This one is the one made for acne prone skin. This is gonna help clear out your pores if you suffer with acne or blackheads, which I do. This is the best vitamin C I've ever tried and I will never stray away from it. It's so good. I've tried the regular um, vitamin C, the C for Lewick, for Ferulic, and then I've also tried the Floritin CF, which is more so for brightening the face, and this one wins in my book. I love her. She's a ride or die. Second favorite serum, also from SkinCeuticals. This is the Phytocorrective Gel. This is a calming gel. I think this is the most amazing formula SkinCeuticals has ever come out with. It just completely takes away any redness in my skin whenever I'm having irritation, dryness. This We'll solve it. The entire Phyto line is amazing. I also really like the Phyto spray, but the serum's my favorite. The Ranavat Brightening Saffron Serum. I have never fallen in love with the product faster than I did with this. This is an oil formula brightening serum. It's made with turmeric, saffron, so many amazing things. It's actually created by an Indian chemist. Oh my gosh, I use this every single day after my vitamin C. It's an oil formula, so it's gonna leave my skin really nice and glowy and hydrated. It's so beautiful. Clearly, I need another bottle of this, but it is, I mean, amazing. Tretinoin, honestly, I'm having a hard time with Tretinoin lately because I really do love it, but ever since I've gotten more so into hydrating the skin and then I use my Tretinoin, sometimes I'll feel dry the next day and I'm like, Ugh, why do I use this? But it is so good, you guys know it's good. Retinol or Tretinoin is amazing. A little reminder, Tretinoin is 100 times more potent, more strong than Retinol. So if you've never used a vitamin A product before, Retinol or Tretinoin, Please, 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 please start with retinol or else you're going to destroy your skin barrier. And the skin barrier is what's gonna make your skin glow and get that skin that you want, clear, glowy, glass skin. I've used tretinoin for quite a bit now. I'm on 0.05%. It goes all the way up to one. I tried one and I didn't like it. So I went down to five. And this works for my skin. I use it about two to three times a week, and it's great. Retinol and tretinoin is a form of vitamin A. It's a topical form of vitamin A. It's gonna help with anti-aging. It's gonna help with wrinkles. It's gonna help with texture. It's gonna help with hyperpigmentation. It's gonna help with everything. It is an amazing, amazing product to use on your skin, and I love it. Let's talk oils, creams, and eye creams. Best of 2023 eye creams are as follows. We have the SkinCeuticals AGE Complex for the eyes. This is a stunning formula. One of the only creams I have found to help with my dark circles. It is really, really nice. Supposedly they discontinued it, but I don't think they did. But a new love of mine is something that I fell victim to on TikTok shop. This is the Fix Caffeine Eye Cream. I like to use this one in the morning. This jug was $30 and it's literally massive. I think this one's almost $100 and this one's 30. So, I mean, the size difference is pretty crazy. This eye cream worked so fast on brightening and just giving me a more awake appearance under my eyes. It's no joke. 
it's really good they're a very small business they're kind of blowing up right now because they're all over TikTok shop, but it's really good. And these two are definitely my favorites. Let's talk moisturizers. The Dew Angel Cream absolutely is maybe my number one favorite moisturizer of the year. This cream gives me such an amazing ethereal glow to my skin and it leaves my skin so hydrated, plump, and juicy. I fell in love with this cream. It's amazing. Another amazing one is the Caudalie Premier Crew. This is going, oh my God, it smells so divine. It feels, it makes you feel like you're at a spa when you put this on your face. I use this almost every single night. This just brings my barrier back to where it needs to be if my skin is ever dry. And it's just so rich and delicious. I love it. This is kind of a new love. This is the Medicube Collagen Jelly Cream. Look at this cream. Like it literally, I feel like I'm a Dairy Queen with a blizzard. <laughs> this cream is insane. It leaves my skin so hydrated like glass, like truly like glass. And I use it with this little device. I'll get into devices in a little bit and I'll explain why I use that device. But this is a stunning cream it leaves such a good like bounce and dewiness to the skin it's really good it's also really thick for a jelly cream usually a gel cream is very light and hydrating this is thick and so hydrating and nourishing it's amazing oils and bombs these two one for me the luna oil from summer sorry from sunday riley's i always get them mixed up the luna oil from sunday riley this is a retinol based oil i love to use this on my tretinoin nights just for an extra boost and it's blue which is kind of cool the smell not my favorite but it does leave your skin looking stunning in the morning another love this is the la roche pose cicaplast balm this stuff is heaven sent on earth if your skin is dry if you're breaking out if you have redness anything you put this on as your last step in your skincare at in the, at nighttime you'll wake up like a glowing princess i love this a lot of people say they break out from this and to be honest the first couple times i tried this i did break out a little bit just like kind of like clogged pores but once you keep using it i think it's like more so like a little purge i don't really know what it is but once you keep using it it will not make you break out this is a stunning product and it's so cheap which is amazing i use this to slug or i'll use lanolin to slug which is also amazing getting into my favorite devices of 2023 for my skin i'm missing one but i'm not gonna go get it because it's in my bathroom and i don't want to go over there and get it number one is my led mask you guys know i love a good led mask this is the dr dennis gross one i love how it also has the purple light and the multiple light. So the purple light's gonna help with acne and bacteria, but this is such a great mask. It is pricey, but I swear it's worth it. It's so, so. Red light's gonna help with anti-aging. It's gonna help with tightening the skin, gonna help with hyperpigmentation, gonna help with fine lines. It helps with collagen production. It is such a great tool to have if you want great, great skin. It's a really, really great aid. The second tool that I'm obsessed with, this is the MediCube Booster H Wand. This little device has different levels. Level, 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 level. It creates micro channels in your face. Micro channels are not holes. Micro channels are signals that are signaling your skin to suck the product in. You can literally feel it pushing the product deeper into your skin and it leaves your skin so glowy and so amazing. It's like unreal. This I started using with this and the combination is just amazing before i get into my favorite category sunscreens let's talk about my favorite masks of the year because these guys definitely took the cake you've definitely seen this one my videos went viral with it the videos of it on tiktok went viral this is the biodance bio collagen real deep mask i love this mask it literally gives you korean glass skin but once i posted it it sold out you guys sold it out so I haven't had it in a while. I'm savoring this last mask to be able to use it because I don't have any more. It's so depressing. But another great one is these Dr. Jar, Dr. Jar Cryo Rubber Masks. I love the hydrating one whenever I need an extra boost, but I love the collagen one as well. 
pink and blue are my favorites. They also have a soothing, which is a green mask. But yeah, those are my favorite masks for sure. Let's get in to the product that absolutely took off this year. I put it on the map, I'm not gonna lie. Color Science SPF. This won my Best of Beauty Award for the year, and this absolutely won the Best Sunscreen Award in my book. I love these sunscreens, they're unbelievable. This is the one that went viral and that I have raved to all of you guys about. This is the Flex SPF. It comes out white but has little pigments in the formula that then turn into color and add coverage. I'm almost out of this one. Add coverage and add just amazing, it just adds an amazing look to your skin. I love it. I fell in love with it this year, but I also really love their glow formula. This is not tinted. It actually has a little tiny tint, like a little tiny bit. Um, this is going to give you more of that like glow and like radiance to your skin. I really like mixing them both. They're stunning. I literally wear it every single day. Now, I know that that may not be everyone's cup of tea, so I added two more. This is one of my favorites. This is the Summer Friday Milk Drops. This is a great everyday sunscreen. It's clear, comes out white, but it's, it's clear on the face, does not leave a white cast. It is a beautiful formula. I love Summer Fridays. They are a great brand. And then this is a Korean sunscreen that I also really love. This is made out of rice bran, which is pretty cool. This is from the house of Doa. And this is an amazing sunscreen, leaves your skin very dewy, but it's very, very nourishing and hydrating. <sighs> wow, that I think is it for the best of skincare of 2024. It was the year of glass skin. It was the year of taking care of our skin because skincare, good skincare, great skincare equals, no, sorry, good skincare equals great makeup. And I've always talked about this on my page. I think taking care of your skin just aids in such amazing makeup and amazing just loop. Ooh, do I have sunscreen on my nose? <laughs> ah, anyways, it just aids in such amazing look and youthfulness to your skin. And I just love skincare. It's such a passion of mine. I'm just so happy that you guys love my recommendations and love just what I have to share about skincare and makeup. It really means so much to me. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. I'm so happy that I can share these recommendations with you. But I hope that you love this. Um, I think next maybe we should just do best of makeup because whew, God knows I can go on all day about my best of makeup because I tried so many products. But yeah, that's it. It. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel again. I cannot wait to continue to create content for you guys and just grow this channel and just get more personal with you on YouTube because I love that. But I hope you have the best day ever and I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.